Where did the playing cards come from? Scenario 1. Playing cards might have been introduced into Europe by a 14th century traveler returning from a fair, who said, the chaps, guess what has to win, and then produced and manufactured a set of cards or of scraps of cardboard according to his recollections of seeing a similar game being played as well. The samples and cards might have been what he thought that he had seen and also the game played with them. Scenario 2 a number of travelers to Asia or Africa learned some card game immediately or as a group and having played it with local inhabitants and perhaps each other during their travels. They decided to bring a pack or a few packs back with them so that they could continue playing at home in Europe. When the original cards were out, they had copies made locally in Europe. Objection The early reference says introduced by Serkan so it seems that it was more a case of an Arabic game being introduced by a certain rather than some Europeans discovering it on their travels. However, any above may, may contain some truth, whereas if their meanings carry multiple meanings of outgrow their etymologies. What is the meaning of the symbols? Rumor has it that heart represents the rich class and kirk, spade represents the army, club represents the middle class, and diamonds represents the villagers. What is the symbolized person of the kings, queens and jacks? Rumor has it that Jack of Space is Audrey Dane or Holger Dansky, Jack of Hearts is Lahire, Jack of Clubs is Lancelot or Judas Maccabus, Jadis of Diamonds is Hector. Queen of Space is Athena, Queen of Heart is Judith, Queen of Diamonds is Rachel, Queen of Clubs is Arjun, King of Space is David, King of Hearts is Kamarlenge, King of Diamond is Julius Caesar, and King of Clubs is Alexander. Card flourishes is the term of visual displays of skill performed between cards designed to show the skill or manual dexterity of a flusher. Card flourishes are primarily intended to be visually fascinating and to appear difficult to do. Card flourishes for musicians can be divided into many genres, one-handed cuts, spreads, two-handed cuts, painting, aerials, and springs. Card flourishes are performed both as part of magic performances and on their own. Card flourishes and card manipulation are considered as art forms and many people all over the world practice them relig religiously. Many famous flourishes will be Dan Buck, Dave Buck, or will know Michael Hart. So there are countless flourishing modes, the most common method of learning the artist through DVDs, books, free tutorials on the internet, provide one-on-one -on -one seasons, as well as provide the produced instructional videos. Although card flourishing is still considered to be a rare skill or hobby, there has been a large spark in widespread interest over the past decade. As a result, there is significantly more informational material available on the market today for those interested. The best playing cards companies Bicycle playing cards are a popular brand of standard playing cards and are the USPC's original brand and product. Since 1885, the bicycle brand has been manufactured by the United States Printing Company, which, in 1894, became the United States Playing Cards Company of Snesty. Bicycle is a trademark of the company, they are popular with musicians and other car enthusiasts. The typical bicycle deck is a standard used deck of cards consisting of 52 traditional Anglo American cards, two jokers, and information cards, and the card describing poker ranks. As with most decks, the first standard card of the deck is uniquely styled Ace of Space. The bicycle trademark is usually also Printed on the Ace of Spades, the type number of a bicycle card deck card can be found both on the bottom of the deck box and on the stone of the Joker artwork. B Playing Cards are a casino card brand. They were first manufactured by Consolidated Dogarty in 1892, hence the number 92 on the Ace of Spades. The USPC accurate company soon after. Standard B Playing Cards have diamond back typically blue or red, so casinos frequently use customized B-cards featuring a logo added to, to the backs.
Unlike bicycle cards, V cards usually have borderless backs, making the facing of a card that is even partially revealed clear visible. However, the standard diamond back of the card is very regular and low profile compared to, to other back designs, which simplifies bottom dealing and other forms of slide of hand. For this reason, the USPC has responded by producing stringer back bees for casinos. The design constitutes a white border achieved by a slow fading of the diamond back design into paper. Teleho cards are a set of decks that only recently have not been very popular. The cards are difficult to find today and are mostly on, only sold in New York City. They come in the standard red or blue colors just like the bicycle brand but has two choices of back design known as the fun back or the circle back. Magic stores also have existed a black option with two gaff cards in the place of the typical advertising card. Due to the unique finish, the distinct and beautiful design and the unability of the cards to normal lay people. They have become popular among cars musicians and card flourishes. They were favorites of famous musician Dave Vernon and are common in videos of in performing tricks. They also make a notable appearances in the famous card game scan of the movie The Thing as the preferred deck of Dol Lonegan.